we're going to break down what Triple G should do this time opposed to the last time. Now, one of the reasons he had so much trouble with Canelo the last time is because Canelo is a great counterpuncher. So when he would reach in, Canelo would throw the uppercut, boom. So he caught him with several of those. Good hooks, uppercuts, Canelo changes up the speed. But whenever you're fighting a counterpuncher, you don't follow them. So what Triple G should do this time, this is just my opinion. This is what I do for a living. He should pull Canelo back instead of stay on top of him because with the success level that he had, it wasn't enough for the judges to say, we want to give him the nod. So this time, take the, ca the counterpunch ability away from Canelo by setting him up, using the longer jab, because he's five foot ten. As Canelo comes in, he just sets him up, boom, 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 and sets him up for the right hand. Canelo can be hit with that right hand if you do it right, because one of the things about Triple G's right hand is you can't roll it. Canelo is great at rolling the shoulder. Boom, he rolls the shoulder. He knows how to roll the shoulder. But Triple G throws his right hand like this, boom, and bam, over the top. So he hits you specifically over the temple, breaking you down, taking your legs away from you. If you watch the last fight, you'll see that his right hand is more looping. So he's going to have a higher success rate. Keep setting Canelo up for that by walking backwards and boom, over the top, cracking him. Now, in, in the first one, we all noticed that Triple G didn't go to the body, but there was a reason, because Canelo is a great counterpuncher. So like I said, if he draws him back, he draws him back off the jab, boom, and he closes the gap, then he can get that body shot in there, and he must go to the body this time. Break him here, then slide that thing over here, boom, and step back out, reset, let him walk back on top of him. Canelo has to soon come, boom, and bam, and that's the secret sauce for Triple G. Canelo, on the other hand, was positioning himself to move around the ring, which gave Triple G the ability to press him and throw punches on him, boom. And he found himself, even though he ricocheted a lot of the punches, he did not convince the fans that his defensive prowess really was enough to keep Triple G off of top of him. So what Canelo should do, any fighter, whenever you're fighting a guy who has pressure, your objective is not to run away from him, unless you're Muhammad Ali. It's to go into the eye of the storm, stay in his chest, boom, break around, body shots over the top, uppercuts here, stay here, stay here. What we call bulldog, get under the armpits, out of the way of danger. Now, right here, he's in extreme danger. Right here, under the armpits, where he can break and roll and go upside, break him down to the body, uppercuts, boom. That's the strategy that he will need to use this time to convince the judges that it's not a draw and Triple G did not win. You gotta break him down to the very last compound. Until next time, dilly dilly, <laughs> peace.